Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have had a history of public challenges and controversies since stepping down from their royal duties back in 2020. After their decision to move to California, the couple has been navigating life outside of the royal spotlight. However, their latest challenge might be the most significant yet. Risking their petition from the United States due to Prince Harry's past drug use. So, let's dive into the situation. The most common question is why are they at risk? The main issue stems from Prince Harry's past drug use which includes substances like cocaine, cannabis and mushrooms. The US immigration law are very very strict about past drug use which could complicate their visa status. In fact, a conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation have been very vocal about demanding access to his visa records arguing that Harry's history with drug should have banned him from entering the country. Now, Harry and Meghan moved to California back in 2020, as we mentioned, after stepping away from their royal duties. And since then, they have focused on their family life, charity work and business venture, building their brand outside the monarchy. Meghan, an American citizen, and their son, Archie, who is now in school, are factors that further complicate any move to deport them. The couple has expressed that they feel at home in California and they are determined to stay with a strong legal team ready to defend their position. But do you think there's Donald Trump's involvement too? Let me help you with that. Yes, there is. The couple's situation has caught the attention of President-elect Donald Trump who has publicly expressed his opposition to Prince Harry, stating that he would not protect Harry if the United States government decides to take action on his visa issue. With Trump potentially returning to the White House, this adds more pressure to the couple's fight to remain in the United States. Now, their investment in the US and abroad, that's very, very crucial. In the midst of these legal battles, both Harry and Meghan have made significant investments, including a 3.6 pound million villa in Portugal. However, the villa is still under construction and is primarily seen as an investment rather than a new permanent residence. They have no immediate plans to move there. Now let's talk about the history of this couple in the United States. Prince Harry's relationship with the US back dates long before his marriage to Meghan. His frequent visit to America, including his involvement in charity work and even attending sports event, have made him a familiar face in the country. Meanwhile, Meghan, an American actress known for her role in Suits, have had her own ties to the United States long before marrying Harry. After their marriage in 2018, their public profile soared and they were often seen attending major events in the United States. Their decision to step down from royal duties was a major shift in royal history and their move to California marked the beginning of their life as a private citizen. Since then, they have been involved in various initiatives, as we mentioned before, including their Netflix production deal, podcast and activism. Now, will they stay or go? With all the legal battles and political pressure, it remains to be seen whether Harry and Meghan will stay in the United States or they will face deportation. Their strong support system, including Meghan's America citizenship and their legal team, has made them very confident about that they can remain in California. However, the ongoing political landscape, specifically with Trump's potential return to the power, adds uncertainty to their future in the US. So, what do you think? Will they be forced to leave or they will stay in California and continue their new life? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and for more such interesting stories, do follow Time the XP.